Uh, welcome to National Exhibit of Thessaloniki. Uh, we're going to start here uh, from the outdoor space. Uh, we're going to move into 15, into Warehouse 15, as it translates to English. And we're going to show you around in this very many popped video series about the National Exhibit of Thessaloniki. Ενδιαφέρον. Υγείας, αγαπητοί συνοδοιπόροι των ιατρικών συλλόγων και των φορέων, είναι αλήθεια ότι είναι μια ωραία μέρα σήμερα, γιατί χωρίς μάσκες ουσιαστικά περνώντας μέσα από μια δύσκολη περίοδο της πανδημίας, η οποία βεβαίως όλοι θα πρέπει να έχουμε προσοχή, αλλά μας δίνει την ελευθερία και της έκφορας και των συναντήσεων. Νομίζω ότι μας γέμισε όλη αυτή η περίοδο και μεγάλη εμπειρία, αλλά και πολύ μεγάλη διάθεση συνεννόησης και σύνθεσης. Νομίζω λοιπόν ότι να πάρουμε τα θετικά αυτή τη περίοδο. Και προϊόντα δεν θα γίνουμε τα ίδια λάδι ξανά. Ε, η, ε, βασικά είναι, πολύ, είναι πάρα πολύ μεγάλη η συζήτηση που κάνουμε κάθε φορά που μιλάμε για το κενημερωτό μου προϊόν. Οπότε, ναι, υπάρχει ένα ενδιαφέρον στο να σε ακούσουν. Ε. Από εκεί και πέρα πρέπει να δουν ότι υπάρχεις ξανά και ξανά. Πρέπει να σε βλέπουν ότι είσαι εκεί, να το επικοινωνείς ξανά, να δουν ότι είσαι σοβαρός, ότι ε, αυτό το πράγμα... Okay, so, uh... Some stands here. We were previously on a VR set of uh, the Greek international train system, and uh, we're going to show you what it was about. Uh, it was right there, like um, you can see the 360 uh, thing there.
250 uh, ships. I have uh, about 200 areas. Someone can uh, install and uh, show and work. Another condition is the one that is set in the room. The other one that is the one that you can have for the communication. So, this is all the measurements that can have. The other one that can have the card is extremely more. They have more things including there. And uh, from that, uh, we can change the weather, we can change the sea, we can change the spots, we can port. 150 small ports that we, uh, we can uh, give to the, to the, to the start, the start to make it to uh, the, the trainees. So this is basically a Microsoft of fly flight simulator but for ships it's very high end quality and it's very sufficient and it's used for training new recruits in the Navy. So we are the Ministry of Nautical Policy here, uh, very nice pavilion, and it has some three. We are at Pavilion 10, which is the energy pavilion, and we are going to show you around here, but not um, the whole pavilion because uh, it's not that interesting, and we have to cover other themes. Are behind the energy stand and I'm just going to show you out. Okay, so here we are officially at the energy pavilion uh, stand and just a quick uh, and uh, show it here. It's, it's not that hard to know to not this that uh, energy today is very expensive either due to the war either due to the lack of resources super companies uh, like energy that have uh, a pretty well grown up uh, have ways to sustain that energy and lower its price Alrighty, so this was a VR experience about Matera, quite nice, uh, very nice. Now let's move on. Okay, so here we are at another pavilion and we're going to start with the project, as you can see. Uh, fine. Rosemary, uh, etc. Here is a leaflet for Ihur. It's called Ihur. Uh, we have yeah. Okay, now I'm going to be on the pavilion. Italian pavilion. Uh, and a Serbian and a we have several lines and actual uh, among the things that we Here is the Italian Pavilion. Here is the Serbian Pavilion. Okay, so here we have the stand uh, of the train. 
kind of sound uh, of the recent event uh, that uh, Rosa dared to attack Ukraine and commit war crimes. Uh, Ministry of Culture and Sports Pavilion. Uh, I'm just going to show you around. Here we have some replicas of ancient artifacts and sculptures. That we have.
Okay, so let's end the first part right here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And see you later on another part. Cheers! Thank you.